what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, thanks to Banggood, they sent out this Echine, the EA202. I believe this is just their branding of the uh, ZD Racing, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, let's go over this thing real quick. I'll go ahead and put these tires on here in just a minute. So anyway, if you're new to the hobby, and well, at least this will get you started, you'll have the charger, and it even comes with two LiPo batteries, which is nice on that part of it. So we'll get into that one as far as the batteries go, but as far as when it comes to the radio, not too bad. I, I would like it if it had a foam grip or rubber grip, just you know, just to have a little bit more than just that plastic there. But on and off switch that's here. And do, you do have your adjustments, your trim adjustments and reverse settings and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't know if this one's gonna work or not. I'm not 100% sure yet, I will test it later. But there's been some little plastic pieces that have been coming out of it. So it's got a little bit of rattle to it, but everything that I've been touching on here, as far as throttle and all that, seems to be okay. So I don't know what happened on that part of it. So we'll hopefully cross our fingers, that radio will work okay for us. You do get the manual as well. Again, it's all branded as ZD Racing, but there's some stuff that's, you know, E02. <laughs> so it's kinda pretty cool on that part of it. Anyway, you do get some double stick tape that's in here as well. Not 100% sure what the double stick tape is but maybe you guys can chime in on that one. I just haven't looked at all of it. Get some zip ties in here as well. So pretty cool, not bad. Uh, the batteries themselves, 4,000 milliamp. So I'm digging that, I mean, for the price, it's nice that it comes with some batteries as well. 4,000, 25C, 2S LiPos. So this thing's rated for 4S. Now also this is a 1900 kV motor that comes in here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And then we'll slap those tires like I promised you guys on the vehicle so you can see it all together. So let's go ahead, at least kind of give you a little over the over the vehicle a little bit, overhead view. But yeah, even the wheelie bar too. Flip this thing around. And the ball bearings, even the rubber wheels too. So I'm liking that part of it. There's a little bit of oil floating around on here, which is nice because I think it's coming off the spur gear too. I think they oiled that up because it is steel along with the pinion gear. So good. Uh, your Velcro straps, very nice. Those batteries were in here. I took them out just for the sake of showing you guys in the video. So yeah, I'm digging it. I like it. I mean, it's, it's cool. Nice size motor that's in there. Like I said, 1900 KV. So cool. Mod 1 gears. Nice. Electronic speed controller on and off switch that's there. So again, 120 amps. All right, let's go ahead and throw those tires on there, see what it looks like. All right, so now with the wheels on it, it looks pretty awesome. Definitely dig the truck. Here are the Maximus tires, or tire. So you can see, these tires are pretty big too. Um, just give you an overhead of it as well. So yeah, pretty big tires. And I'll show you the Maximus itself. This is my buddy Brian. This was mine, I, and then I sold it to him. So you can see as far as that part goes, that they're the same length, but just as far as those tires are definitely bigger on this truck instead. So yeah, but definitely cool. So I can't wait to get this thing on the road and I will run a couple different batteries anyhow, just to kind of see if we can get a little bit faster too and get some little jumps in there also for you guys. I do want to point out one thing that these are not serrated. So what it means just doesn't bite into the rim itself. So these have the potential of backing out when you're running them. And then also, if I didn't say nothing about the bolts, sometimes I forget my train of thought. Anyway, there's a bolt that's here that holds the upper arm right there. It's a little bit short, so when the nuts did come off, it was floating around in the box. So I actually need a longer one and I need a little thread lock on it as well. But uh, without that's the only thing that I could see visually other than that you know, obviously the nut was rolling around the box. So that was that and I'll just need to fix that part of it and I will resolder these wires up on the battery so I can make it a little bit of my own how I like it. But yeah, definitely cool. I appreciate all you guys watching, liking, comment, subscribing and uh, don't forget, we'll have the links down at the bottom so if you guys wanna get one, I'll have both links anyhow for if you're looking at the Pirates 3 one or this one here that I'm showing you as well, both from ZD Racing Pretty cool looking trucks anyhow, so I can't wait to get this going. So I'll give you my real thoughts on it once I get it running. But for now, catch you on the next video. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.